I'm going to show you how to prepare a whole fish for cooking whole. Uh, the fish I have today is a sea bass. It's got um, a lovely clear cornea or a nice bright eye. Uh, it's got a nice um, light slime across and the, all the scales are nicely intact. And if I pull back the gill flap of the fish, you can see really nice pink bright gills in there. All good indicators that this fish um, is really nice and fresh. It feels really nice and firm to the touch as well. With this type of fish, it actually needs to be scaled prior to cooking. And to do that safely, the first thing you need to do is trim off the uh, fins from the fish. If you hold the fish back, you can see really nasty, sharp dorsal fin there. And if you stab yourself on that, uh, you'd know about it. So you want to remove those first. So I'm going to use my scissors just to trim those away. Uh, trimming the fins also makes it easier to remove the scales as they don't get in the way uh, when the scales um, are flicked away. Remove those and the other particular uh, um, fin that's particularly sharp is actually at the base here. You need to really make sure that goes because there's a really nasty sharp barb. Once those are trimmed away we then want to scale the fish. The utensil that I'm using today is actually a fish scaler, but you can use the back of a knife to do this. And I'm just going to work up the back of the fish to remove as many as I possibly can, taking particular care to scale along the back of the fish and also along the belly. We need to make a cut into the belly of the fish to gut it, so the, uh, it's important to remove as many of those scales as you possibly can. You know when the scales are actually removed or have come loose, as the skin actually suddenly feels sort of silky to the touch rather than rough to the touch. Cutting at an angle into the back of the head of the fish, the knife I've chosen for this job today is a, a filleting knife, so it's got a nice bit of flexibility. Wipe the knife on a clean cloth, so two cuts, one either side into the back of the head and one through uh, at the underside of the fish to turn the fish onto the back. We're then going to snap the head away and that is then discarded. We now are ready to actually gut the fish. Now to do this, you want to find the vent end of the fish, which is about here on this particular species. You don't want to go too far near the tail. Support the back of the fish with your hand and then line the knife, line the knife up so that it's actually parallel with the fish so we can make one clean cut and action up the belly like so. If you stick the knife in at an angle and try run it one clean cut, it will go through to the back of the fish. Once we've done that, we then need to remove all the guts. Those can be discarded. And we also need to look for the bloodline of the fish. And the bloodline actually runs very close to the, back, to the backbone uh, and it needs to be removed. Left behind, it actually will make the fish or the flesh of the fish taste a little bit bitter. There's a bit of membrane in the way here, so I'm going to open that up with my knife and then dig a little bit closer to actually reveal that. The cleaning of that is pretty straightforward. It's quite a bony fish, so you might need to use a brush. I've got a special brush, which is called a haddock brush, especially for this job, but something like uh, a little nail brush, especially for the job, something like that, just to wipe that away. Just clean that out, and then that fish will need a really good rinse under the tap to make sure that it's uh, clean and ready to go. Having prepared that fish, I can show you one that I have already prepared, ready to be cooked. The fish that we have here, what I've also done with this is actually trim off the tail because we're going to be cooking it on papillot style and we need to make sure that the fish is completely clear of the paper around the outside. I've also made three small cuts into the side of the fish or the flank of the fish so that the flavours that I'm going to add to this will really get into the actual flesh itself. And I'm laying the fish on a big piece of grease proof which we've actually cut into a heart shape. My chosen flavourings today, and they're just a selection of aromatics, include a little bit of Florence fennel. Um, I've also got a little sprig of dill to go over the top and I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lemon directly over the fish. I'm putting a tiny splash of perno on today. You need to be careful with something like that. It's quite a powerful flavour. Or just a tablespoon of wine or a bit of water in there just to create a bit of a steam. I'm going to put on a little bit of seasoning, a tiny bit of salt and pepper, and then the fish is basically ready to be wrapped. I'm going to fold the paper over 
and then just turn the paper to seal it really, really well. And twist and press as you go, and all the way round, taking care when you do this that the fish is nicely encased and really closely encased, but there's also a little bit of space between the edge of the paper and the fish so that the air can circulate around that really well to make sure that you have a really even cooking. Having done that, we're then ready to cook the fish and I have one ready to take out. So I'm gonna open that up. I know it's cooked, the flesh has gone white, the skin will peel away really well and it's now ready for serving. And that is how you prepare and cook a whole fish.